Do you know what the biblical question is for this week? Yeah, was it, uh, why don't you presume others innocent before proven guilty? Yeah, and why don't you? The people that I do that to, I found that those are the people I don't like or trust. So the people I do like and trust, that doesn't go th- cross my mind. But the people that I don't like or trust, I don't know. I think like a reason, I'm looking for a reason to fight. Because they're never, they're never like the ones. Like if something's missing, I'm like, oh man, they took it. But then I'll find it later. They never took it. You know, they never take it. But it's a weird thought right to your mind. It goes right to your mind and go, oh, they took it. You're like, why right. am I even thinking that? It's crazy. Like you automatic, almost an automatic reaction used to be for me. And, but, and they never took it. Just lost it. Okay. I think, I think it started looking for a fight. Amazing. Right behind you. How about you? Well, I've been... Why don't you presume others innocent until proven guilty? I do <laughs> presume people are innocent. I do not. Would I you? do not think people that are guilty right away. You don't? No, I don't you, even no think... No one at all? I don't even think OJ did it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm saying... <laughs> Because I've been on the other end where people presumed I was guilty and knowing that as a respondent of that, I, I <coughs> tend to people give people the benefit of the doubt because of my own experience. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. That's good, man. I, uh, I saw this real life story of a real life where these two guys worked together at a hospital. They were really good friends. And then one of the guys got married, and, um, and his wife started messing around, all kind of stuff, right? But the, the guy got killed, was killed, and so they thought his best friend had killed him because the best friend was friend with the wife, too. And so everybody assumed that he was guilty, and all his friends turned on him right away. His family members turned on him. Um, he lost his job, so he was un- unable to work, couldn't pay the house notes or anything. And everybody assumed he was guilty. They just assumed it. There was no proof of it. It's just that the detectives were investing him along with everybody, right? And they just thought he was jealous of his best friend, his wife, and stuff like that. And they assumed he, he was guilty. And later on, they found out that he had nothing to do with it. They were still best friends. Yeah, nothing going on with the wife. The wife, other boyfriend, killed her, right? And in, in the meantime, all everybody just assumed right away he was guilty. Nobody assumed that he might not be, and he lost everything. And now that they have found out that it wasn't him, he lost everything. Isn't that amazing? All human beings are guilty of that, except the ones that are learning the lesson. You're not supposed supposed to assume anything, really. <laughs> Number one, it's not your business. Okay, if they're guilty, fine. If, they are, if they're not, fine. That's on them, right? But human nature is evil, and it doesn't do that. Human beings are evil. Why, look at around you. You can see, look at all the destruction around you in families and everywhere. It's coming through human beings. It's not out there on its own floating around. It's inside of human beings. And human beings are wicked. When God said, don't trust human beings, he wasn't playing. Look at husband and wives. What do they do the day after the, the next morning after the wedding? They have S-E-X all night, and then they start the fight. Have you noticed that? And the fight lasts forever until they leave. And then they go fight with someone else. Human nature is what has to change. And it will if you work on yourself. You got to work on yourself. You got to work on yourself. Did you do the assignment, the uh, biblical question? Why you presume others innocent before proving guilty? You just assume that they are guilty. Uh, Well, I mean, if I don't know them, then I assume they're innocent. If it's someone that I really know, that I know them, grew up with them, I've known them, I know the things they do, what they've done, then yeah, if they accuse you of something, yeah, I'm going to assume that you're guilty if I know you personally, like really deeply. And is that the right thing to do? I mean, I've, I've had, I have family members that I know what they've done, and like if they were, they were accused of something, then 
Oh, oh yeah, you did it. You know. So if they accuse again, is it the right thing to do to just assume they're guilty? So if you know them and they did all these bad things, right? You know what they do. And then you hear one more thing about them. It's you, you're saying that you should assume that they are guilty? Yeah, because I, I know that they've done it before. What do you say that, Joel? <laughs> it's not proper. And why not? Because you still don't know. It's still a judgment. You're making a judgment yeah. based off of something you think you may know because you know the person, but you really don't know. Because suppose, you know how uh, you rape all these women, right? Huh. And then you get another chance to rape again, and you don't rape because you realize you were wrong. <gasps> you won't rape, but then they accuse you of raping, but you didn't yeah, do it. Yeah, but the previous... The but previous everybody else said, I know he did it. He yeah. raped it, right? Yeah. But you didn't do it because you realize you were wrong. I mean, it's wrong to do it. You understood why you were doing it. And you don't rape, but your family member, everybody's going to assume you raped. Is that fair to you? Well, even if if I didn't do it, then I mean, no. I is mean, it but, fair to you? Is based it on fair the previous to you for actions of my, the, if if I did it previously, then I can't uh, rely on my family's. No, that's uh, not support. the question. Is it right for them to assume that you did that last one? Well, it's right for them based on my previous actions. It's right for them if, to do if, that. If I have, if I was, if I did that, you know, if let's I was, say you did a hundred, you yeah. did ninety-nine rapes. Yeah. And then you had a chance to do 100. But you didn't do the 100. Mm -hmm. But everybody know you raped 99. Are they right to assume you're guilty of the 100? Yes, because of my 99 previous offenses. That's amazing. All right. I what mean, do you say to that? I think, yeah, we can't judge people because there, I think, is sometimes a defining moment in people. Like, I mean, I don't think most people don't change, but sometimes they will. Yeah. And I look at myself and I'm like, how could I have ever made those decisions? But, you know, it's like it did just click one day of like, wow, that was so wrong. And I, I see it now where I know I wouldn't make that same choice again. Yes. And so I well, wouldn't want to would assume you guilty because he know you. That you his, his little sister, you grew up in the house with you. And he know you stole the cookies a hundred times. Mm -hmm. And I realized she, she could be working on herself. Maybe this time she really didn't do it, but he'll just assume along with the other family members that you're guilty. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It is. And I, I think I see it as how that's how some of my family sees me. It's like, oh, well, you have this track record of X, Y, Z. So why should I believe that things are different now? But I know that that's not really my problem, you know, because I know who I am and what their opinion of me doesn't really matter. Absolutely. Right on. Yes, thank you. It's dangerous to guess that because somebody did 99, they've got to have, have done the 100. This is what they do when they go to court and they have attorneys arguing with each other and they're trying to give evidence so that the jury can judge that person. Once it's in their mind, they are guilty. They're dead. Yeah. And so you can't do that. You have to go by the facts. Uh, okay. Um, Tell me about this one, not the 99. I don't want to know about the 99. Matter of fact, if I know about the 99, I'm automatically going to judge yeah. guilty. Absolutely. Uh, and, and that's why you, you shouldn't do that. Um, you shouldn't have that kind of mentality. You've got to be able to see what's, what's here, what's now. What's happening what's right now. Right now. Otherwise, Amazing. that person's guilty. Human nature is a mess, huh? How do you see human nature now? How do I see human nature now? And How, now that you're waking up and see oh. human beings that they really are, what do you think about human nature? I think we're all, we all suffer the same thing. It, it, the only difference is that I think from looking at people I know, going back to what he said, that's a tough one because some of these people I... I feel like I could get through to them sometimes. I still have that problem. You feel like what? I can get through to them. But every time I start thinking that, then I get lost and I get off track. Yeah. So uh, Why do you think you could get through to anyone? Because, well, we, you know, I keep saying the same answer over and over again. It's because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's true. That's no, like it a, is. A, a really, I'm starting to see that clearly. You're just like her. <laughs> I... I don't think somebody could have got through to me five years ago with yeah. this. 
Like I found this the way I did. There was no pressure, there was no influence. I just started listening and, cause you get excited. That's I think probably common with most people that come here. You get excited and you wanna go tell everybody, hey, you know, it's, it's kind of simple, but you're not complete yourself. That's what I keep That's having right. to remember. Like, I'm not there yet. Who am I to start telling you all this stuff? Absolutely. Do you see the wickedness of human beings? Yes, including myself. We're all in it together. Yeah. So what about people who have previous arrest records? Like, that affects their judgment in court, right? I mean, the, I mean even if they try to change their life or whatever, the 100th offense... The, 90, the, the judge is going to look at the 99 other offenses, right? Right. So, I mean, But the jury should not look at that. They should look at what's that, with that 101. They should look at it without any assumption at all, and they should hear the evidence and make the decision based on that. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but, but I because mean, human nature is so wicked, it won't do that. Yeah. Because right away the devil tell you, oh, yeah, they're guilty. You know, uh, it's like your wife. Remember when your wife called up and told the police? Well, I never you had a beat wife. Her? So. <laughs> I don't know that. If you say my mom, yeah, my mom, yeah, I was. You uh, beat your I mama. Was there with my mom and my dad. You know, I grew up with them. Yeah. So you beat your mama? No, I didn't beat my mama. No, <laughs> she beat me. <laughs> she beat me. I didn't beat her. She beat me. <laughs> All right. Go to hate. Why don't? What's the biblical question? Why don't you presume others innocent unless proven guilty? And you say? Um, at first, I thought I do presume others innocent, but that's not actually true. That's only true if it's kind of like to my favor, makes me look good. It's somebody on my side. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. Like it's a white or something. Yeah. Um, it's a white? Yeah, a white or a cop or something. But. <laughs> With one of my callers, like I have like a battle going on with one of my callers. Yeah. And I noticed that I kind of tend to assume stuff about him that I don't actually know to be true. And I don't know why it is, but I just, I did notice that I actually do uh, assume that they're guilty of something. That, yeah. It's amazing how the mind can feed you assumption based on a conversation or something you heard or blah, blah, blah. And you go along with that assumption thinking that it is true. Yeah. For example, if, if you're a Republican and somebody else is a, a liberal, right? And as soon as they say, well, I'm for abortion. Right away you think, oh, this person is no good. This person killed babies. This person is bad. This, all of a sudden, it's a bad. you go in your head and you, you see this person, everything bad. A baby killer, blah, 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 right? <laughs> but you don't know that about the person at all. All you know is there's one thing that you disagree with, but the devil built assumptions on everything else. And you think you're doing it when it's really in the mind. That's why you're doing that to that person. Interesting. Yep. Isn't that amazing? Crazy. Yeah. That's why you got to pay attention to thought. They are all lies. It te- Sorry, it tempts you to jump into uh, stuff that you have know nothing about, and um, like in political debates, yeah, you uh, start to think that you care about something that you don't actually know or care about, and shouldn't even really be commenting on. That's right. That's deep. Yeah. That's amazing. This goes. Back to the uh, to the Bible, when Jesus said that no one's a prophet in his own land. Uh, are you familiar with that story? I uh, am, yeah, but I don't when, know what happened with that. When he went, well, he went back to Bethlehem, his, right. his hometown. He didn't perform as many miracles as in other places, like because nobody believed him. When they said, "Oh, that's him. Is he the guy? He, oh, that, oh, I know him. He's the son of a." He's a carpenter. Well, no, well, the Ill- 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 illegitimate son of uh, right. a carpenter, or like you know, he was the born daddy. out of wedlock or whatever, you know, because they didn't believe he was the son of a virgin, you know. Right. So he didn't perform any, well, very few. Um, and the point you're trying miracles. to make is what? Go ahead. Because people who know you aren't going to believe you. Right, but that doesn't make it right. 
Well, that's what I mean. I'm just. That's what we were saying with you. If you knew somebody that com committed 99 rapes mm -hmm. and then you hear that they did another one, you shouldn't It's going to be that difficult to believe that they're innocent. That's what I'm saying. Why? Like it's a, well, because they did 99. No, offenses. because you have the judgment on them. Yeah. It's because you. Well, even if they did it, to, if they did it to so me. And so if Christ you know, came back to try to heal you, he wouldn't be able to heal you because you remember when he was a slap maker. Mm -hmm. You're like, he was a slap maker. But How going back going to, to human nature, human na it's very difficult. But to, human nature is evil. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, so it's, it's very hard. It's hard. Not if you, if you overcome human nature, it wouldn't be hard. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. So, but yeah, the, the biblical story, when he went back to Bethlehem, right. He didn't perform it very. He didn't perform as many miracles as he did in other because places. Because people judged him. Yeah, people judged him. Of course, yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh -huh. And they missed out on the healing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, sir. Last question. So, in the in the spirit of weaving slash answering a couple questions here, like if you look at the olden days, like my grandparents, etc. Um, I just remember, like my grandpa, for example, if I did something wrong, he would just ask me. Did you do it or did you not do it? Absolutely. Right. It wasn't this whole like draw, drawn out thing. He would literally just Facebook like, ask Absolutely. me, "Did you do it?" And if, if I answered, he said, "You're you're guilty." If I didn't say I didn't do it, then he he didn't say like okay, you have this whole history. I know you've done this X Y Z before. It was very direct. And then um, he didn't say, well, "I know you stole it the first time. You stole it this time." And blah blah blah. He doesn't get into all that. Did you do it? No. Okay. Exactly. And about. that's the same thing with Jesus. Jesus asked, do, do you have anger in your heart? If you say yes, then you'll be free from it. Just like that, but you're going to say no. I'm good. Yeah. And that's why he came for you right away. Good point, man. And then the last part is just, um, you know, your question about, like, what, what have we learned or what have I personally learned? Yes. I'm trying to really understand better is, um, like, the present moment like really, really embracing the present moment, not living in the past and the, in the future, because we've been trained to be like, okay, what is your history? What's your track record? What are you going to become? Who are you going to be? Yeah. And trying to figure out all those, but the reality is both don't exist. The only thing that does exist is the, the present moment, and then being able to be like confident in that present moment to say, I can make the right decision or yes. take the right action, is kind of all, uh, that's what I'm kind of figuring out as well. Right on, man. Stay with it. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it.